All right, uh, a lot of you have been asking me to make a DVD on how to do a horse. Now, unlike a lot of sculptors uh, that you see online and stuff like that that show how to do things like that, I'm not going to be as anal. I'm not going to get into every muscle and everything like that. I will do muscles where I need to do muscles uh, because of the closeness they are to the bone, for, for instance, in the legs and and there and then also some of the hip formation is, is developed by the muscles in the hips uh, and I'll do a little bit in the neck not a lot I'll do a lot on the face but as far as the mass uh, of the horse I'm going to probably just simplify it for you so that it makes it easier for you if you start having to remember all the muscles and where they go well it, it gets a bit much but anyway, this is the uh, small uh, true form armature horse, and uh, it's got the uh, soft body. Um, the soft body has a tendency to not hold clay very well because of the surface. Uh, you can rough it up if you want to with a with a. Uh, let me see if I've got a rasp around here. You can rasp the uh, surface and and rough it up, make the clay stick. I never have any trouble. I just put the clay on uh, hot and, uh, and, and uh, soft, and it pretty well stays on. It may take a little bit of work to get it to stay, but basically it'll stay. <clears throat> this is uh, 17 inches from front to, uh, to nose, from bottom of uh, the hoof to the top of the <coughs> head of the horse is about uh, 13 and a half inches so and it's about uh, oh, just about 10 and a half inches to the top, top of the uh, rib cage so that gives you an idea of, of the size of this they have a small uh, human uh, armature that's actually uh, scaled for this size horse and so you can put a rider on the horse or have a, ho a guy or a woman uh, holding the horse or leading the horse or whatever you want to do um, and you can order uh, these uh, separately from true form now those of you overseas um, you'll get the armature uh, and the uh, horse itself but you won't get the board because the board weighs too much and it causes the uh, cost of uh, shipping to go up immensely like I said, you can put a rider on the horse very easily. So um, I'm going to show you how to attach the uh, horse. I've already done that, but I'll take it off and show you. There's a wire frame inside the horse, and this is the main uh, back support for the horse right here uh, the hip joint or the hips are connected with wires that you can push in for like say uh, an Arabian or out for uh, more of a quarter horse you can adjust the uh, distance from here to there horses have different con configurations and and the uh, same with the uh, uh, legs of the horse you can uh, put a little distance between the uh, joints and uh, and all that. Now let me put this back on. It's got a slot in the top of this uh, uh, rod, if you can see it right here. And that backbone fits right there. And then you just have this lug nut that you put on here and And tighten it down onto that and you can tighten it uh, real tight uh, you can uh, do different configurations to the body if you're doing a horse that's uh, in a bucking position or something like that um, you can adjust the uh, angles of uh, the bones and again like with all true form armatures you always grab near the uh, joint and bend you'd never grab down here and bend up because you might break it right there because the legs are not uh, they don't have wire going through them and the same with the uh, 
the joint there and the joint there and then of course right there so you can make all kinds of adjustments with the uh, horse now I'm going to spend several days uh, researching I want to come up with a good idea what I'll start out with uh, the first instructional DVD will be on the creation of the horse itself the second instructional DVD will be on the creation of the rider or the uh, guy next to the horse. It all depends on what design I come up with. You know, I've been sculpting for something like 40 years now, uh, since 65. That's uh, 85, you know, 75, 85, 95, 2005, 40, and uh, coming up to 2015. So that's, that's almost 50 years of sculpting and I'm still learning every time I do a new piece and so a lot of you who are a little frustrated uh, starting out don't worry it all comes eventually uh, there there are walls that divide you from knowledge and what you know now and I've gone over probably three or four walls um, and you know it when it happens because all of a sudden uh, what you didn't see uh, as being clear before is all of a sudden clear to you and it just comes from practice and doing and learning and watching and uh, and just getting information from every source you can an artist is only as good as his reference material and uh, his uh, instructional books and stuff like that and so when you buy my DVDs you you do gain some knowledge that I've gained over the last 49 years. I'm going to be 69 in October. Wow. That just occurred to me. Wow. Anyway, so if you want to uh, gain uh, some knowledge of 50 years, um, I've got uh, some DVDs that I'm going to show you right now that uh, you can purchase and how to purchase them. Stay tuned to this uh, video and and I'll show you how to do that. Anyway, I just wanted to show you my uh, seven DVDs that I have available. Uh, this one's on creating a male bust in clay. Uh, this one is a, a supplemental video called uh, Clay to Bronze. It's a tour of the uh, foundry. And uh, but anyway, I've got uh, sweet grass. I've got a uh, life size bust. I got a full-size figure of a mountain man and an Indian woman holding a baby. These are the seven that I have. Um, there'll probably be more in the near future. I'm going to be doing one on a horse. But uh, here I'm going to take a break and show you how to purchase these uh, DVDs online. Let's see if I can get it on there. A Day in the Life of a Lemon, block dot blogspot dot com. That's my website. And uh, when you get there, this is the, the home page. And you'll see up here at the top right-hand column, get my finger there's here. a Buy Now t uh, tab right there. And what you do is you just click on this uh, little drop-down menu, and you've got all six of my DVDs uh, Mount here. Mask. And then right at the bottom is this Clay to Bronze, which is the uh, Founder Tour. And as you can see, it's uh, not as expensive as the ones above. If you don't understand anything on this page, here's a uh, language uh, thing here. But some of you don't uh, want to buy a horse armature, and some of you want to just make an armature, and I will show you how to do that as well. Uh, here's one, I don't know how well you can see it, but it is out of black wire, and it's very small. But this is an armature I made uh, about a year or two ago for a piece that never got started. And uh, I'll show you first, before I start on this, how to actually make an armature of a horse uh, the same size as this one. Um, there's a lot you can do. You, if you don't want to put clay on your, your true form armature, you want to use it just for measurements and stuff like that. Uh, for uh, sculptures you do of horses, uh, you can do that. And it's, it's great reference for the hips and the bones and all that stuff. So. Um, True form armatures are really handy uh, in a lot of different ways. So.